Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So at the end of the last episode I managed successfully to kill myself on amphetamines. So be warned, don't play with drugs. Anyway, so what I'm actually doing at the moment is we're preparing the stuff to get the rocket going, aren't we? Well, that's the intention anyway. So what I want to do is put, actually I'll put these amphetamines away somewhere safe. And I've repaired, I've repaired the glass over here. I had to chisel some glass to make some more borderless glass, but that's not so difficult. Quick obsidian to chisel, which was one block of obsidian and one stick, makes a chisel, one piece of glass. We can then chisel that. So, what I'd like to do today is we want to make another. Um, well, I'd like to make another um, laser plus. So we need some glass for that. Well, that's being produced. But first of all, I think I'd also like to produce another. Um, what I'd like to produce another pulverizer because the one I've got at the moment is designed, or basically is designed for what? Um, it's designed for the secondary, and it's not designed for speed. So I would actually like to get another one going faster. So what do we need? Two pieces of glass, four pieces of iron, and a tin gear. That should not be too much of a problem. So two pieces of glass, where we'll get that from the other side. Four ingots of iron. Let's just do it like this. I'm not sure if I've got any iron. In ingots on stock would have got iron blocks up there. That's fine. I will halve those and put those up there. And a tin gear. Right, we'll do the tin gear first. What have we got in here? In the metal caster, aluminium ingots empty. Good, I'll put those aluminium ingots into here and then they can go out. So what I'm doing at the moment, as you can see, I've got some refined iron plates which are going through and they're making some iron casings, uh, refined iron casings now. So we have a reasonable amount of stuff in here. So we'll get some more aluminium through that. So let's get onto this. What I would like here, I've got gold. So I'm not sure what I wanted to do with the gold, actually. I think I wanted to make some ingots, didn't I? So there must be 96 in here, there is. So we'll just flick that up for a few seconds. And we'll get some gold ingots coming out. I think I needed about 32, didn't I? So what we'll do, instead of doing it this way, I was going to use this gear mold here from Foundry. But for the price of one piece of iron, I don't really care. So what we'll do is we'll make a a tin gear from here so let's go back to that one so we can go through this go through this one tin gear if I right click that we should be able to do this one this recipe here that's good so there we've got that so all we needed now was some glass didn't we two pieces of glass is it I think and we should have some glass being cooked in here ten yes that's good and um, we should have some more sand ready to go next time so let's put these into there like that and get the sand out and then stick the sand into there so we can get some more glass and the glass of course is what's needed for the laser plus so let's put these into here oh, we've got oh, already got the glass prepared by looks of it ingots of iron and that one then we can make the machine frame now the machine frame requires it's quite a lot isn't it 1.5 is that solid? let me try that again it's 50, 16, 16 million RF at 5,000. It's going to take a little bit of time. Actually, it's not. It's going up fairly fast. So what we'll do. In the, we're also producing another laser. That's the intention. So we can get this stuff going faster. It's mainly because of the circuits. The electrical circuits or electronic circuits are very expensive. So I've got some some glass prepared in that. Now we need 32. We need two and a half stacks redstone. We've got enough of glowstone. Let's have a look what else we needed for this. 32 obsidian and 16 diamonds. Let's get those out of the system. 16 diamonds. Oh, probably better if I typed it in, wouldn't it? Obsidian. Take those lot. Clear that off. Diamonds. 32. So if we, oh, I don't want to do that one. Right click that. It gives me 32. And then we've got half of that again. So put those back. Um, I'll just put the obsidian in here. I don't really care. We can. I think that's plenty. What else do we need? Thirty-two gold. I'll, I'll take out ten of these. There we go. Thirty-two gold. We should find from over here. 
they should be done now yeah we'll let some more go through in fact we'll make some gold blocks because that's easier to process or easier to store really so we want 32 of those so all we now I think we're waiting for it is on the glass isn't it so really basically that one so look oh is that not yet finished it wouldn't have done yeah this is going to take a little bit of time of course some more sand prepared so we can put that in here and we've got some more gravel we can put into here so that will get that through nicely now we actually get as a some dust as a as a sort of byproduct which is quite useful and let me just put that stuff back that we don't need so we don't need the obsidian let's just check that recipe oh, actually i can do it from here can't i i think it's just the two and a half stacks of glass is what we need at the moment and then that'll use uh, 640 million joules which is i think 640,000 rf wouldn't swear to that, mind you. I've got to wait a bit. Still be patient with those. So while that's doing that, let's just get the other bits prepared. Put that into there. 82. So we need another 40-ish glass. So let's do the rest of this. So that'll deal with the laser plus and this one. So we need one, two copper gears, and one piston, flint, and redstone reception coil. Let's see what we can do for that. So redstone reception coil. We've actually got one. Fantastic. Don't need to make one. Flint. I'm thinking we might have some flint. Yep, we've got enough flint to take two of those. Um, what else do we need? Copper gears. The easiest way to dance through this. I think I'll do the same as recipe as last time. Oops, I made eight. Never mind. We need two. Put the other six back here. Doesn't really matter that much because uh, we probably need them later on anyway. Um, copy gears, machine frame, which is in process of being made. Plus what else? Has it gone to this time? It's gone over there. Piston. Right, we'll have to make a piston. So we need some wood. And we need some actually I'll take it should really be good if I took a stack of wood, but it's not that essential. It's cobblestone, which we probably haven't got. Right, we've got 63 compressed. Let's just uncompress a bit here. Like that. Redstone and iron. Oops, make a few. Yep, nope. eight would probably be good, and an iron. Like that. Then we come over here, and that's already finished, that's fantastic. So let's put these bits into here. And we can clip pistons on, and they will go through fairly fast. Got eight pistons already, <laughs> very fast actually, look at the speed of that. So now we've got, I think, everything we need. Let's double check it. Piston, we only need one piston, redstone reception coil, two flint. Let's just double check it. Yep, oh yeah, I think that's all we need. Let's get that made. And then of course the next thing I'm gonna to have to do after that, of course, is to upgrade it. So have I got enough space in here? Probably not. Actually, I don't need those in there, do I? Let's put them into here and get our pulverizer cooking that's actually very fast because it's very small anyway so let's take that out of here i mean in terms of power and let's see if we can upgrade this thing while we're here so let's have a look uses of that one so all we need then is the electrum gear huh just try that again i'm not sure i've got enough electron in there but maybe we can do it that way no electron whatsoever. Electron, I mean. So we need that gold and silver, isn't it? In the, and I think it's about half half. Now maybe we've got some gold and silver in here. Aluminium, 
a so we need a g and a u so that's a g and a u yep 64 of each now i'm not sure what the i'll remove this recipe before i mess up again and i'm not sure what the recipe for it was i think it's probably eight of each That would probably be a good idea to actually check that out, wouldn't it? So, let's have a look at the uses of that. Electrum. There are actually, I think there's more than one recipe of Electrum in here, but we'll just double check golden carrots. Block of gold. Yes, you can do it 8 and 8 in the top left and right corner, and that'll give us thermal foundation, which should probably be fine. So we'll have, now, good question as to which way around, there you go. That's AU, and AG is this one. Okay. Yeah, I just need to do it like that, and of course I'll get 8 ingots out of here. We can then take one of these ingots out of that, and we can put that into the book, of course, would be a good idea. If it's the wrong type, of course, what we can do with this, I actually need four, don't I? Right, I've got enough for the gear. Of course, you can always put this into your converter anyway. And you'll notice that it only works, from, it doesn't work from the hot bar, it only works from your inventory when you shift click it. So you get Electrum in Foundry and Tech Reborn. So, and I believe that Tech Reborn is very similar to, or an extension of Industrial Craft. So let's have a look now. We should be able to do the gear. Where's it gone to? Pulverizer, I think. Yep. Let's have a look at the use of that one. Do this the way is easier now. Uses. So we need that. And then we have our second version of this. So this is now a hardened one. So then for I'll go and make some speed upgrades and I'll carry on doing that between episodes. I don't think I need to do that now, actually. We'll put that one, say, down here like this. And we have a, a second pulverizer. With that, it's got one space for upgrades, which we'll do next time. So what have we got in here? Plenty of stuff, let's get it out. So we need 64 of those, 64 of those, 64 of those, and 64 bronze plates, and 64 aluminium. We'll make one plate. So we'll take one heavy, one heavy plate tier one. So let's put those into here like that. And there we go. Heavy duty plate tier one. And this is actually not too much in terms of power, so that's very that's fairly good. In fact it'll use only half of those, of course. So we can actually make two. And I used all of them. Okay, fine. So we have our one plate here. Now so that is just one part, you see. Uh, in fact, I was doing my calculation and I reckon the one full chest, which is, gives you thirty stacks is about enough to make a, to make the sort of the rocket but I'm not 100% sure about that so we can do that again let's sort this now we can make a heavy duty a, a tier 2 plate so we want one of those one of those one of those one of those and one of those see we need more bronze already and we can stick those into here like this we can also take this one here and self craft that back to 64 of the right type so let's put everything of those into here like that. Oh, I think I've got too many of one. Firing away downstairs, quite loud. I think if we look at the uses of this one now, you see we can start to make things like things on the assembly table. And this is the one that will give us a buggy fueling pad okay and it'll give us a fuel loader i think that's a i think that's a request and this one a heavy duty plate so it's what we actually got to do but i thought that recipe looks like oh yeah 
this one. We've also got to get some loaders, of course. This one, a rocket launch pad. So we need another one of these, which is not in my calculation, of course. That's about it. I'm not sure what we use the other one for, by the way. So, so if we now put this and this in here, it makes all of these things. So we need the next one would be the heavy duty plate tier two. And actually, that's not too much power either. So that's reasonably good. And those two should disappear and we get a heavy duty plate tier two so we have one of each of these and in total heavy duty heavy duty plate tier two we need 11 heavy duty t heavy duty plate tier one we need 18 therefore we need 29 heavy duty plate tier ones there's a lot there's a lot basically so 29 stacks of all of those things we've got to make and I would quite like to do this with you, but I think it's a bit of a tedious thing. It's just basically going through here, putting items into here, taking them out of here and bringing them across to the, um, across into the assembly plant to do that. The same goes for the pulverizer. I don't see I need to make any more upgrades with you. I've done that already. Um, the next thing I suppose we could do is to make some clothing I think we need to make this clothing that we need for uh, well basically temperature stuff so we need wool for this and I think we need quite a lot of wool and I don't think I've got anywhere near enough wool or string for that I'm just wondering whether it's worthwhile making some more wool through mine chem so let's go and have a look at that now wool is titanium dioxide plus whatever we need now this one here is serine, glycine, and alanine. That's just for you, etc. I'll try to pronounce that correctly. So if I take those now and I make this into a block of wool, yeah, the colour itself is determined is from the titanium dioxide, and it's two glycine. Or well, maybe it's better to make glycine and titanium dioxide as a choice. But there are other colours of wool. So if we actually look in here now, we have a look at wool. We're really, really interested in these colours up here. So black wool, we can synthesise. And I reckon that's going to be um, carbon black, yes, which might be easier to make than um, titanium dioxide and glycine. Because what we need to make, of course, is this clothing from Galactic Science, or Galactic Craft. So let's have a look. I don't think... Oh, I've already got that set up, haven't I? I think it's that one we use. But I don't see it here. Let's have a look for you. let's have a look for wool and you look at the uses of this wool here. Oops, it doesn't work that way, of course. It's the uses of the wool. We can do shape crafting to make a cell workbench, shapeless crafting, assembly table, not helping us very much. Carpet, carpet. That's a solid block, and then uh, and the chests. Ah. In fact, we can get the titanium dioxide, of course, from bone meal, so that's just as easy. In fact, probably easier. Blackout curtains, gloves, and we come back. Shapeless crafting, soft block molds. Hmm. Static boots. That's from Industrial Craft 2. Okay, we can extract it, pulverize it, decompose it, enchant it. Well, that's a bit strange. I wonder. It was also used with redstone in Galactic Science 1. I'm not even sure what it's actually. Let's have a look at this one here. 
Maybe it has to be with this, with a particular type of wool. I'd be, hard, I'd be surprised if it is, mind you. An auto sieve. Twenty-four shape crafting recipes. Let's go backwards. Here we go. Thermal cloth from Galactic Science. So we need four wool per redstone. In fact, you can use any type of wool. That's good. And then we can make the thermal padding chest and this. So basically, we need lots and lots of wool. So that means we've got to basically produce lots and lots of glycine, if I remember right. Let's just double check that. Glycine, copper, that would be blue, of course, that would be cyan, which we don't really care about, but glycine. C2H5NO2. Um, C2, that's of course, is now gone, being used up. C2, oops, that's an H. N5, N and O2, wasn't it? No. Let me take, let me come in this way and do it the other way, because we've already made, we've got some glycine, or should we have some glycine already made? Plenty of titanium dioxide, anyway, let's take those. Maybe it's easy. NO2, maybe it's nitrogen dioxide, that's what I need instead of the NO. Let's type it in. Lighting. Let's just put that into the book and see what it's actually telling. No, it was right. What did I do wrong then? C2H5 NO2. Turn this off, of course. T two N H five is it? Ah, all right. My mistake. I do apologise. So that's going to make some glycine come out of here now, so we can get some more of that. I think. We'll just take a few stacks of this and put it into here. Have we got any carbon? No. Nitrogen dioxide. Don't need glycine. I do. I've got a lot of rotting flesh. Where did that come from? Oh, from downstairs, of course, yes. And I need a lot of rotting flesh anyway because I need to make some more enchanted books. Fortunately, I won't get from the enchanted books. I won't get it this time, but I mean, I won't get a free one. Electron gears. We don't need the stone slabs. We'll put those back into the system. So, let's have a look. Nitrogen, I've got plenty of nitrogen in here from these, which also acts as brown dye. Interesting, because then I could make brown wool. Titanium dioxide is easy, it's just, it's just bone meal through the mine decomposed. What are we short of now? We've got plenty of nitrogen, not much carge, only some carbon. Carbon's empty in there, let's go and get some carbon from here, because I did actually make chest full of carbon pick two stacks and then of course we can take the glycine and we can put the glycine into the into the book again because we've lost I've got it already in the book good so now we can actually make some wool can't we white wool so tiny titanium dioxide and glycine i think is all we need actually let's just do that one glycine and one titanium dioxide oh that makes carpet aha uh -huh, let's try two yeah that's it so we get from two we get this so we can put that into there like that and we should get then start to get some wool coming out of this which is great so I'm going to have to do that. I don't think I want to automate it. But there's probably no reason why I can't. Because the only thing I need really is... is that's only 
is this mescaline um, what we get from yeah mescaline because that is basically what we need for this with more whatever so this one is actually also a nasty thing but we could decompose that and then use the decomposed version of this which in fact I can put into here like that and then that will come out into here let's press escape go down to here we get the the different measures that we need actually we're getting nitrate nitrate out of here so we're getting plenty of carbon plenty of hydrogen and we should get some oxygen oh yes from here of course so we can carry on putting that into there now what have we got in here aluminium phosphate which is we don't want in there oxygen nitrogen hydrogen and carbon so we take this out we want to put the the recipe back for alanine so let's just take this out of the book here take the book probably the easiest with the journal isn't it i've got wool and i've got glycine let's put the glycine recipe into the here and then we'll get some more glycine coming out of here six so this is going to take a while to make but you you see how it's done and I think that's probably the best way to do that at the moment. We can make plenty of wool with this, of course. That'll give me another 20, 10, 31. And we need, that gives me four per, so that gives me like f seven of those fabrics. So we can actually, we can actually make that up. Let's do that anyway. And then some redstone. shift click that and got eight okay with those eight we can actually make the chest plate piece like that so we get our thermal padding chest plate which of course we can then put on and it goes in there and as you do that you see you got nice shiny arms oops I'm looking look <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention to my oxygen well, Let's do it like this. So well, let's have a look. What else have we got going here? We need to get the, oh yes, I want to get the laser plus working, don't I? Now we should have enough glass in here now to get the laser plus working, I hope. If not, we've got another stack of glass in here so we can, so, I mean, another stack of sand, we can make some more glass. So between this episode and the next episode. Oh, wrong place. Oh, I've got two more in here. Let's take that out of there, actually. So we need 128. What am I missing? Or is it 144? Let me just double check that recipe. 144 glass. I didn't have enough glass yet. My goodness. It's quite a lot of glass, but it's not actually that expensive anymore. It just takes time to process. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to soup up this um, this pulverizer. But it's got to go there through that three times before we get it. Is that enough? I think that's probably enough. Let's just try that. I didn't. I didn't actually. Oh yes, that will do. So now we can get another laser plus going which is great and then we want to look at the enchanted books we want the efficiency book so here we go this one we got the one that's re record reward oh actually there's two questing rewards for this one. Oh, efficiency and fortune right this in fact has probably been better going for the fortune book of course Three ender pearls, three of those, ten of those, and a ten blocks of shiny. We're going to do at least that. Okay. So three ender pearls, ten rotting flesh, and one book. So what we've got in here? Three of these. I'm going to get six. We would probably double it up. Ender pearls. Actually, got plenty of ender pearls at the moment. Rotting flesh.
we need three of those, don't we? Ten of those. Put that there. Probably the best way to do that. Shiny and a book. Let's have a look. Books. I've only got one book. But I should have some keratin and some which will make the leather. I don't know if we've got any leather actually. No. That's all off we got for shiny. We've got four. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll, I will go oh I've got fishing rods. And I've got a lot of fishing rods. Mm, they're good actually they're a good source of alanine, uh, glycine. So we can actually put those into here. In fact, it would almost make sense to put a, an import onto that. And then we can actually do it through here like this. I think I like that idea. While I'm thinking about an export bus, I mean, I said import, didn't I? Let's just correct myself on that one. Because these, you can't, they don't stack wherever it was, fishing rods. So an export bus, we've got four left, I think. If we need one, it can always come back and steal this one. So we should be able to put that onto this there like that. And then we should be able to put fishing rods into that and they will start to fill it with fishing rods, fantastic. And of course that will then start being here for the stack upgrade, one stack. And it will come down into here, which is great. I should have done that before to be honest with you. So now we've got plenty more materials for our carbon and hydrogen. Let's put those into here. I need mean phosphate I'll put away. And I need to do the nitrogen dioxide, don't I? To decompose that. Let's do it like this. nitrate it's funny you can't shift click it in there oh probably because I put the wrong one in yeah let's take these out of here Venture is full let's just put some of this away but I don't need to do this on camera do I so it's a bit of a waste of time Probably a bit boring for you as well, Serene. Yeah, now the fishing rods are going through. So I've got 56. Basically, that's 27 pieces of wool. Is that right? No, wrong. 28 pieces of wool. So we'll do that in between between episodes. I don't think there's any point in doing that. So what I'm going to do between Let's have a look. What I'm going to do between now and the next episode is I'm going to upgrade that pulverizer, make more plates, and basically prepare everything that we need for the rocket. Make more clothing, thermal padding, whatever, and so on and so forth. So until next time, I wish you all the best, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.